Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to showcase the best way to farm the residual memories, which is the new currency from the War Within pre-patch event, the Radiant Echoes. So let us firstly answer the question of why do we want this currency? Well, for many reasons. There are transmogs, pets, an amount you can buy with the residual memories. The Radiant Echoes event happens every hour and a half and rotates in an order of Searing Gorge, then Dust Wallow Marsh, and then Dragon Blight, at least for the EU realms. To access the event, simply complete the introductory pre-patch questline. At the end of the questline, you should end up in this portal room in Dalaran. Here are the portals to each of the zones where the event happens. If you are not sure when the next event will happen, there is a timer on the portal where the current event is happening. Or you can just check it on the main page of Wowhead right here. Make sure you choose the right region. And well, the best way to farm this currency is simply to complete the quests which want you to kill the main boss at the end of the event. Since there are three zones, there are also three quests which award you with 1500 residual memories each. Once you have done it on one of your characters, you can move on to another one and repeat the process. This way you will quickly get the currency required for either the mount, pets or transmogs you are after. When you have enough of this currency on your characters, you can simply transfer them to your main and purchase the items you want. And also when it comes to the goodies and prizes, there is one thing you should look out for, and that is the Band of Radiant Echoes Heirloom Ring. To obtain this, you firstly need to buy the Lifeless Stone Ring for 25 Radiant Echoes. Then while farming the event itself, you will get an item called Memory of Eastern Kingdoms, Kalimdor or Northrend, depending on which zone you did the event in. Once you have 20 of these, you right-click on it and you should forge yourself the Essence of Eastern Kingdoms, Kalimdor and Northrend. Once you have all three of these essences, you right-click on the ring and that should create the heirloom. And well, that pretty much sums up the whole pre-patch event. The event itself is fine in my opinion, but I would like Blizzard to reduce the timer between the events to an hour or maybe even half an hour. Hour and a half is just a bit long, and the lags don't help either. Anyways, that's it for the video. Like it if you liked it, subscribe for more WoW videos, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!